Is your diagnostic game stuck in the past? Let me show you how to upgrade your skills with this must-have oscilloscope tool. Let's take a look. In this video, we're going to break down the basics of what is an oscilloscope. We're going to look at things like the screen, what are the grids, and we're going to talk a little bit about voltage per division and time per division. So stick around, grab your scopes, and let's take a look. Most oscilloscopes that you're going to be able to see are going to have a 10 by 10 screen. So that's going to be 10 divisions vertically and 10 divisions across. When we're looking at an oscilloscope, as you guys can see, these small boxes here are known as graticule. On most scopes, you're going to have 10 graticules up and 10 graticules across. When we're looking at an oscilloscope, the graticules that are vertical are usually voltage. Vertical voltage, VV. And the ones that are horizontal are going to be your time. As you guys can see, at the moment, I have my scope set up to minus 100 to plus 100 volts. And the reason why is you guys can see a fuel injector waveform that's going across here on the screen. What I did right now is I added a trigger telling my oscilloscope where I wanted my picture to reoccur. As you guys can notice, right now we have a small little window. And if I lower my time base to 5 milliseconds per division, that would mean each one of these graticules would be 5 milliseconds giving me a total of 50 milliseconds for the entire screen. Now, if you noticed, as I went to five milliseconds, my image got larger, so let's bring it down. I brought it down to two milliseconds and my image got even bigger. Now, if I bring it down to one millisecond, now you can really see that it got even larger. Always remember that on scopes, if you don't have a good zoom capability, as the Pico does, you're always able to make sure by reducing the actual time that you're going to be able to see it in a larger format if i do that once again you guys can see how large my image is getting with that information i hope you guys are able to just grab your scope start messing with it start programming start adjusting it and start running some basic checks if you guys want to see some specific testing on your scope make sure you guys drop them in the comments so this way i know how i can better help you guys don't forget if you're in the la area make sure you guys join us on january 24th for our full one day oscilloscope training this is going to be an awesome training we're going to do a lot of live hands-on stuff. You bring your own scope, so this way we can show you guys how to use it. And our sponsored launch is going to be giving away one free oscilloscope. So make sure you guys join us for that. And as always, guys, we're here to better the automotive industry one technician at a time. This starts with you. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.